Hi and welcome to Annalise Maths. Today we're going to be looking at decimals. Now the learning objectives set by Ed Excel for this are understand that the decimal point separates the pounds and the pence or the metres and the centimetres, understand the use of a zero as a placeholder, understand the use of a leading zero, recognise 0 0.5 as half, order decimals and compare decimals. Our keywords for today are digits, meaning numbers, units, tens and hundreds. Uh, for more information on place value of whole numbers, check out my place value video. Order, difference, compare, most, least, fewest, greatest, smallest and odd and even. Again, odd and even were covered in my first video. The most common place where people lose marks in this particular topic are not understanding the place value of decimals. So not understanding the digits after the decimal point. Um, a lot of people believe that the more digits a number has, the larger it is, which isn't always the case. And some people have difficulty understanding zero because it's representing something that doesn't exist. So let's talk about place value. Again, I've got a video on place value of whole numbers if anybody wants to check that out. So, but we use the place value system. So in the number 37.29, we've got three tens, seven units. Then once we get to the decimal point, we've got two tenths and nine hundredths. Now it's very important that we say this number is 37.29. Saying 37.29 firstly isn't correct. If we we're dealing with money, yes, we would say 37 pound 29 pence. But in the case of a decimalized number, 37.29, saying point 29 can lead to a misconception onto how big that number is. That number isn't 29, it's two tenths and nine hundredths. So it's very important that we say it as 0.29. We won't be asked to identify tenths, hundredths and thousandths. Um, they won't come until GCSE. However, again, it's worth learning the terminology. It will help us when we're looking at decimals, comparing them to fractions, for example. One of the things we would be asked to do is to compare decimals. So I've got an example of a music artist records the length of different music clips. And I would like to know the longest clip, the shortest clip, and I would like these clips in order of length. Now, the most common misconception is straight away saying, OK, well, this one must be the smallest because it is physically the smallest. Now, that is not the case. And we'll look at why now. If you're asked to compare decimals, the first thing I would say is make them all the same length by using zeros. Now I'm going to use my 6.8 as an example. That 6.8 is six ones or six units and eight tenths. 6.8 and 6.80 are exactly the same number. Six ones, eight tenths, no hundredths. So all I'm saying is there's a lack of number in my hundredths column. So if I'm asked to order numbers, the first thing I do is add zeros to make them all the same length. Then we look at the digits with the largest value. In this case, that's the units. They're all a six, so there's no difference here. Then we'll compare the decimals. Now, another thing that I find easier to do is put these numbers on top of each other. This helps us to better focus on each place value. So as I said, in the units, they're all a six. So let's move on to the tenths. I've got a three, an eight, an eight, a zero, a three and a zero. So if I am looking for the smallest number, I've got two that are both zero. So I'm going to use the hundredths to help me. So I've got a zero three or a zero eight. So I can see that this one is indeed the smallest. And I would use my place value to help me. 
So this is the correct order, 0 0.6.03, 6.08, 6.33, 6.38, 6.80, .8, and 6.83. So now that I've added zeros, I'm able to look at them better. And as we can see, this original one that looked like it was going to be the smallest is actually second largest. In a previous video, I've discussed that ascending means small to big. We don't need this terminology for entry level, but we will need it moving forward in math. So we'll start looking at that word now. So what I would like you to do is pause the video and see if you can do these four questions. Place these numbers in ascending order. So place them smallest to biggest. Don't forget, add zeros if you need to. OK, let's see how you got on. Hopefully you've got these as your answers. Check them out. If you're not sure on anything, ask me any questions you want to in the comments um, or go back and have another look. OK, let's see what this might look like in an exam situation. Here's a one mark question from an entry three. So tell your ways tomatoes from different plants. Which plant has the greatest weight of tomatoes? So pause the video. Have a go. Give it a go. OK, let's see. Hopefully you chose plant E. Plant E was 0.7. So again, you could have added your zeros. So don't forget, 0 0.60, 0 0.40, 0 0.70. Now we can see that 0 0.70, if I fill the rest of them in, I can see that 0 0.70 is the biggest. So they're all a zero. Then if I look, six, six, five, four, seven. So I can see that this is the biggest. Let's look at another example. So the customer wants to buy a car. She looks at cars of different lengths. The car must have a length of less than 4.3 meters to fit in her garage, which is the longest car that will fit. Pause and give it a go. OK, let's talk about the answer. Hopefully you got 4.28. Now there's a few things going on in this question. The first thing, the car must have a length of a less than 4.3 meters. So I know that 4.3 is the same as saying 4.30. So anything bigger than 4.30, such as 3.7 and such as 3 itself, because 3 is not less than 4.3 is not less than 4.3. I know that those two are too big. So I need the biggest one that is not one of those two. So I've got 3.68, 4.28, 4.02. Oh, don't forget, 4 is the same as saying 4.00. So 4.28 is the biggest of my remaining. Let's look at one last example. Ellery chooses a surf. Board. She wants a surfboard with a length as close as possible to two metres. Which surfboard does Ellery choose? Pause and give it a go. OK, let's check that out. Hopefully you chose 1.98. Again, don't forget to add your zeros. 2.1 is the same as saying 2.10. 2.3 is the same as saying 2.30. So this one is only two away. 0.02 away from 2 metres, whereas um, 2.1 is the most common incorrect answer, and that's a whole one tenth away. So in this video, we've looked at how the decimal point separates the full and the partial. Uh, we've looked at how zero can be used as a placeholder. Uh, we've looked at leading zeros. Um, we've ordered decimals and compared decimals. So best of luck with your studies. Any questions, pop them in the comments and please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.